Denise Van Outen has reminisced about her antics in the 1990s which included flashing Prince Charles and being forced to apologize for stealing from Buckingham Palace. Denise Van Outen, 47, became a household name as the presenter of Channel 4's The Big Breakfast. Her celebrity status was cemented when she was invited to Buckingham Palace in 1998 as part of a group of young achievers in media and entertainment. Upon receiving her invitation, her Big Breakfast co-star, Johnny Vaughn, thought she was bluffing and told her to steal a souvenir to prove it. The presenter reveals that she stole an ashtray and a toilet roll cover in her new book, A Bit of Me, from Basildon to Broadway and back. Wrapped up in excitement, Denise left with the items but it didn't take long before she was caught out. She detailed the stunt on the big breakfast and was forced to apologize. Denise also posted the stolen goods back to the palace with a note saying, I am really sorry, it was just a bit of fun, as reported by The Mirror. In a bid to make sure there was no ill will with the monarch, Denise took it a step further and sent the queen an apology gift consisting of a stuffed toy camel she bought in Tunisia with the message, Sorry, ma'am. I didn't mean to give you the hump. Speaking at the time, a spokesman for the palace fumed, the vast majority of guests don't take anything away as a souvenir. Dot. We get nearly 50,000 visitors a year and if they all took souvenirs there wouldn't be much left. We will leave it to others to judge the rights and wrongs of what she has done. Still reeling from the ashtray incident, Denise was hosting party in the park a year later and Prince Charles was in attendance. She wanted to shake his hand but was deemed too unpredictable by royal security and wasn't allowed anywhere near the royal. The presenter wrote in her book, I marched over to the window of the marquee, and while the prince was shaking hands with the members of Steps, I called out to him, then pulled up my top and flashed my bra. I'm not sure what came over me, and it certainly wasn't premeditated. If it had been, I'd have worn one of my posh bras, rather than the Mark Spencer nude one my mum had got me.